Ah, we meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Hmm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. Oh, still need something? The misshapen corpse under Stormvale. That is a sacred relic of the Black Knives plot, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the Golden Age of the Erd Tree, long before the shattering of the Elden Ring. Someone stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Maleketh, the Black Blade, and on a bitter night, murdered Godwin the Golden. That was the first recorded death of a demigod in all history, and it became the catalyst. Soon, the Elden Ring was smashed, and thus sprang forth the war known as the Shattering. I once wished to become a scholar, you see. I've spent many an hour scouring the archives for knowledge of that fateful plot. The world has grown crooked, and if you intend to put it to rights, you'd better understand what happened to make it this way. And that thing is to blame for the shape I'm in now. I urge the utmost caution. Don't disturb the corpse more than necessary. Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. D was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. Did you need something else? Are you acquainted with a man named Roger? You know, the piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more though. You see him now. Ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling, like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is sullied, it rots people from the inside. Breaks them. Knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City. A group entirely of women, arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister right. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, 
A very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Oh. Did you need? Would you like me? The blessing is still a flame. Would you like? Ah, hello. I was hoping to see you. My examination is complete. Here's the knife print back, with my thanks. Now I have a fairly good idea who performed the rite upon the blade. The person who orchestrated the Knight of the Black Knives. Lunar Princess Rani. One of the children born to King Consort Radigan and his first wife, Ronala. Demigod and sister to General Radan and Praetor Rikard. Hers was the name I discovered in the imprint. Truly, you have my thanks. But, if I might be so bold, I would like to ask something more of you. If Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. I would like you to procure it for me. And then, all will be laid bare. I will have the answers I have sought for so long. I have some idea of Rani's potential whereabouts. There's a manor to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It is the familial home of the Karian royals, from whom Rani descends. There's been talk of the old royals' vassals gathering there in recent years. Rani's whereabouts since the Shattering are a well-kept secret. She hasn't been seen even once. But I suspect she might have returned to the manner in which she was born. I'm afraid there's something I must tell you. Do you know of those who live in death? The very notion of life in death defies the Golden Order. By Dee's account, these defiled fiends must be expunged. But truth be told, I seek the curse mark to save them. You may find this peculiar, but I discovered something in my examination of the Knight of the Black Knives. These souls have committed no offense. They have every right to life, only they happen to touch upon a flaw in the Order. Yes, indeed. If Dean knew what drives me now, he would surely boil over with rage. Or perhaps he would even feel some pity. But no need to fret. None of that will come to pass. I can tell a good lie when I need to. If Luna Princess Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. Would you be willing to procure it for me? She may have returned to the manor that is her home the Royal Karian Residence to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. <sighs> ah, well then. May the Golden Order shine through you.
You? I, uh, sorry, Your Worship. I apologize for any offense given. I am Pidya, servant to the Karian royal family. I am charged with maintaining these ghastly dolls. Ah, Your Worship, allow me to be of use. Other than the puppets, there are some very fine things up here in this storeroom. Why not pick something out before you go? But please, can you offer poor ill starred Pitya a little something by way of compensation? has given all he has, I can't be of further use to you. Please forgive me. Please find it in your heart. Forgive me.
Oh, again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. I see. Quite the sleuth, aren't we? Indeed, I am the witch, Rani. I stole a fragment of the Rune of Death, and used it to forge the godslaying Black Knives through fearsome right. I did it all. But sadly for thee, the curse mark thou seekest is not to be found here. I have slain the body I was born into and cast it away. And it is upon that flesh the curse mark is carved. And why should I reveal that to thee? I performed the act not to bury the past, nor in shame of the deed. But all the same, thy begging compels me not a jot. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say now. Be gone. The curse mark now. Be. Always good son. I see. When Rani shed her flesh, she shed the curse mark too. You know, not everyone would trust such a tale. But if she in her current form is nothing more than the living doll you profess, then perhaps it's true after all. Hmm. Forgive the bluntness of the notion, but how would you like to become one of Rani's vassals? Ah, only in order to get what we want, of course. The location of the body which bore the curse mark, which right now I haven't the faintest. And the best way to find out is for you to enter her service and take a poke around on the sly. I know you've got what it takes. Not only are you a superb fighter, but people want to trust you. I've seen it. Can you become Rani's vassal to advance our agenda? While in her service, you'll be able to determine the location. I realize that I'm asking you to put yourself in grave danger, but I know you've got what it takes. mark thou seekest is not here now. Oh, is that so? Thou wouldst rend me aid. Is that thy proposal? Afford in thyself opportunity to grope about for the curse mark's location, no doubt. Hmm. Very well. There's nothing wrong with a well-laid scheme. What's more, if my past and past wounds beckon to thee, I am curious enough to see what thy destiny portends. I'll allow it. Enter my service, and good hunting to thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior. By the name of Blythe, I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron. The Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, 
And there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Speak with the three who await thee below. Thou needst not indulge them unduly. But they too wish to appraise thy worth. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer entered my service, after all. Again, I am Eiji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience let alone service to Lady Rani was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Hmm. Long time, friend. Blythe, if you've forgotten. Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going to see if I can't. Don't keep me waiting, eh? I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Selvis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? Allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. 
This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. I shall soon end, and it will be so I have high. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon.
always good to see you, son. Hmm. Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata, and I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next, but when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty is a finger maiden. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Hello? Is someone there? Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light, and when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes, their frail fingers emaciated yet still they give me the grapes but you seem somehow firmer you are most kind indeed may the blessing of the fingers be upon you Hello? Is someone there? Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light, and when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. That aside, I wonder what Shabriri grapes really are. Delectably tender and sweet, 
yet searing. What a sight they must be to behold. No. That's not possible. Not all of those people. Their own. So those noises I heard were... Sorry. I'm all right now. Don't mind me. I apologize. You only did as I asked. I'll be fine. Think no more of it.
did you need? I am. Would you like me to? The blessing is still a. Would you like? 